Hey guys, Sean with American Window Concepts, and today I'm gonna be in the field and I'm gonna show you how to remove an old wood window and replace a vinyl casement crank out style window. Here we go. Okay guys, so we are on the inside of this window it's uh it's an older double hung window that they've painted and sealed off so now basically only the bottom will slide up and down and the reason we're going to do this is because we only have two windows in this bedroom now california has a code called egress and ingress and we have to have at least 5.7 square foot of an opening to allow for an emergency you have to get out or if somebody has to try to get in uh, during an emergency we have to be able to allot for that so we're gonna cut all the areas that have the paint lines. We're gonna take off the interior stops. We're gonna leave the exterior stop, which is basically the water barrier. We don't wanna mess with that. So we're gonna make, make it so that way all this comes out. We leave the main frame in, and then we're gonna put our block frame inside this opening and case it out. Okay guys, so here we go. We're gonna start and cut. The, basically we're gonna score a paint line right here along this trim. And once we do that, there's little tiny finish nails that are just basically holding this to the mainframe. So we're gonna pull this off. We wanna cut this carefully because we're gonna reuse this interior trim here. So now that we've done that, you can already see how it wants to pull off. So let's assist that. Right there, see? How easy is that? gonna get a little cracking and breaking and that's quite all right. All right, take this, I'll set this down. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Any little nails that's left behind, you're gonna to wanna to take either a hammer and hit them in or pliers and just pull them out. See how this window wants to wobble. Pull this thing out. Now we have this wire that's connected right here. This is what is basically balancing the window. Let's cut this. There we go. Now for the top piece. So we have this interior stop that's right between, that separates the bottom slider and the top slider. So we wanna do the same thing. We wanna score this and pull this guy out. Now this sits inside the mainframe. So a little bit more work, but Easy enough. There we go. There we go. That's my line. See, if you get closer, this is the stop that I'm talking about on the outside that you want to leave behind. So this is all painted in. This is original. This is nailed in. Basically, this thing on the other side is buttoned up to the original 2x4. So this, you want this to stay. So our new window is gonna sit from in here all the way back here. And then we'll case it out on the inside so it gives it a nice finished look. But this is, uh, this is the steps you gotta take. So now what I'm gonna do from the outside is I'm going to cut this paint line that's holding on to this top sash here. So let's get that. Every tool, this is my most precious tool when it comes to installing is my little straight bar here. All right, now that we have this, as I was saying before, this used to be a double hung, and there's your balancer cord. Let's get that out of the way, watch your eyes. I should be wearing eye protection, but I'm quasi old school. Very important part. All this stuff here, this paint, we want to make this as nice and flat as possible, so that way, Whenever you're doing your new caulking lines, it gives it a very clean finish. We're gonna pull this piece off too, but not before we do this. Right. So what we're doing is we're going to take the bottom of this flange. I ordered this window so that way it's a retrofin bottom only and if you order this window a block only, all four sides, they'll send you this 
piece of trim that you put underneath the window itself and it kind of covers a gap that you're going to have with that slope sill on the original wood window. What I like to do, I like to have it so that way I can cut this flange down to the size that I actually need it. And when I set the window, it has a very, very clean finish and it's watertight. So I'm all about that. Here we go. Let's make this window fit. <sighs> Heavy. Ooh la la. We're gonna do the top and the bottom. That way, we, we need to move this thing a little bit. We can do that. See how this thing moves back and forth a little bit. Wanna center it just right. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We have the window in, we've pinned it all the way around. We wanna check our operation, make sure that it's not getting hung up. We know that the bubble was perfect, so there we go. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trim out the interior, cover any of these gaps here. So we're gonna take our little trim pieces and we have a little half inch by three quarter, kind of an ornate look. And we're just gonna put that to cover all the gaps and then we'll clock those in after. So what's beautiful about this stuff is that it sticks right on and gives you that nice finished look and all we have to do is just cover it up or caulk it in. Okay guys, so remember this is the size window. This is exactly what was in that bedroom. And you know, you got a double hung, you're gonna change this and you're gonna put a vinyl window in. If you do another double hung style window with today's codes, we're not gonna get it. So we go away from this and then we put in our casement window like you see here. Now this is gonna give you that ability to open this all the way up and give you plenty for egress codes. So as you can see, we've left behind the main frame itself. This is your exterior stop and it's completely painted over. We've caulked in all the way around. So this thing is absolutely watertight. It was watertight before, it is now. But this is a wonderful, wonderful window for to replace a double hung or a single hung window in a bedroom and that's all you have to a nice beautiful casement window. Hey guys, if you live in the Ventura or Santa Barbara area and you are interested in getting replacement windows or doors, don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can go to our website, AmericanWindowConcepts.com. You can click on the get a free quote and fill out that information. I'll reach out to you within 24 hours. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you want to be kept updated on new videos that are coming out, just hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.